Workplace behavior is the pattern of action and interactions of the members of an organization that directly or indirectly affect its effectiveness. My name is Mark Collins and I'm a business manager with a logistics company. Workplace behavior, uh, in my eyes, in the company's eyes, is when the employee comes to work until they go home, acting in a professional manner, um, dressed for the job, prepared mentally and physically for the job. The only thing we sell is service, and if we're not professional in that manner, we'll, we'll be able to uh, stay in business. So our employees must understand um, it's part of their job to dress for the job, um, to be mentally and physically ready for the job, but also make sure they're professional at all times so the customers respect them and let them into their business. This could lead up from uh, write-ups to uh, official warning letters, all of determination for uh, employees who do not act in a professional manner uh, while working in the workplace. Our customers allow us to come into their facilities and uh, treat us as guests. So when our employees fail to come in and act in a professional manner, that puts their job at uh, risk, but also a customer of ours at risk that we could possibly lose them because of that. I've worked for the same corporation for 33 years and we've had a lot of changes. One of the things we have changed a lot over the last 10 or 12 years has been cell phones. Uh, drivers uh, seem to sometimes want to use their cell phones at unprofessional times and customers don't want to see that. They want to see 100% um, involvement with them and not an employee being on a phone or something unprofessional. So we ask all of our employees not to be on their cell phones when in the workplace or in customer's location. It's more of a sign of respect to the customer that uh, we have 100% of their interest at heart and we're there for them and not a distraction sometime by our employees. Good afternoon. My name is Diane Schafalker. I work for the Community Resource Center. I'm a community support specialist, which is like a case manager. I work with people who have a chronic mental illness trying to keep them stable in the community. I think about my own personal behavior and I also think about the behavior that um, occurs between the employers, the employees at the agency. Unfortunately I do. We do have some problems at work um, and management does address them but we still seem to have some problems in that area. Actually, they do. Um, my current employer had to set a dress code because we had therapists coming into the agency that were wearing old t-shirts, blue jeans, and flip-flops when they were when the client was being charged $110 an hour for a session. Um, that behavior was very inappropriate. Unfortunately, even when the agency sent out the memo and had a policy change, some of them continued to ignore it and as soon as they were, I think they were actually encouraged to leave the agency for that reason. We actually have a code of ethics that we uh, follow at our agency. People are pretty good about that, but I could give you a few examples of some violations of that behavior. Uh, hi, my name is Sean McHugh and I'm a manager at Stevenson Downey Hall. Eastern always emphasizes that the employee should have a positive attitude in the workplace and that it should be infectious to the customers and that they will be walk out of Stevenson having a, an air of confidence in themselves. And we also try to help each other or help people whenever possible because we understand that Stevenson is kind of confusing sometimes and we just try to help out whenever possible. Workplace behavior is very important in Eastern dining halls. We expect people to be professional and maintain a certain level of professionalism on the job. Uh, one example of bad workplace behavior is showing up late to work. That results in everyone else having to do other work that they normally wouldn't do, and they don't like that. 
When people show up late to work, we have either an observation against them or a write-up. One example of negative workplace behavior is when I caught a student who was texting while they were wearing gloves and working on the deli line. That is bad because when you touch your phone, it has all the germs that you touch in your face and all that, and then now they're on the gloves, and then they, they get a sandwich for the person who wants to eat it. And that is gross. Um, when I caught the student, I made them throw out the gloves, made them wash their hands as they should, and then put on new gloves. And I told him that if it ever happened again, that I'd be very disappointed and it would most likely end up in a write-up. All right, welcome everybody to our monthly meeting. Last quarter we made $8 billion. Uh, on to our third topic for the day, we're going to see how we can make profits for this quarter. Well, it's nice of you to join us today for our monthly meeting. Totally. Fourth topic for the day, we're going to be, um, learn how to be more customer oriented. Uh, fifth topic for the day, we're going to see what customers like about our products. Mr. Harrington. Mr. Harrington. Come back in Mr. Harrington. What? Oh. How's your report coming along? Oh, fantastic. Oh, um, it's great. Um, you want, um, what report am I supposed to be doing again? The report for the month, monthly sales. Oh, right, right, right. I'll get right on that, I promise. Okay. I'll have it on your desk in 10 minutes, okay? All right, great. Well, that's enough work for right now. Let's see what's going on in Facebook world. Smoking is the biggest turnoff ever, apparently. It's good to know. Real good to know. Joey T. Hey, what's going on, Joey? Oh, no, I'm at work, dude. Don't worry about it. No, I got what I have to do. Don't worry about it. How about last night? How awesome was that? I know, it was totally sweet. You should hit me up later and we uh, could do that all over again. All right, sounds good, dude. Later. Why'd you take two hours out of my pay? Well, first off, you show up to late work every day. I don't You're care. I don't care. Why did you take two hours out? Excuse me? It's supposed to be part of my pay. I'm supposed to. I work here. That's what happens. That's how it's happened. That's how it's done. Mr. Harrington. <laughs> Renee, should never leave food around me. This is awesome. She'll never know it was me. Oatmeal raisin, my favorite. <laughs> Mrs. Burnett. How are you doing today? I'm good, how are you? Good, thank you for setting my area up. You're welcome. Are you ready for today's <laughs> monthly meeting? I'm very ready. Do you, um, we did great on sales last month. Do you have any ideas on how we can increase them for this month? So many ideas. All right, I think we should cut out smoking and coffee breaks. Yes, that sounds great. Mrs. Burnett, I see I have a discrepancy in my pay. I have two extra hours that I didn't work. Yes, that's actually a bonus for you this month. We have been doing good in sales and you've been getting many compliments, so you've gotten an extra two hours. Mr. Harrington was performing very bad, so you've got two hours of his pay. Oh, well, thank you very much. You're welcome. Thanks.
Uh, hey, I'm at work. Can I call you back later? All right, thanks. See ya. Dude, look what I got. I just got this from Renee. Did she give you that? No, I took it from her. She left it in the break room. She, so stupid. Dude, you shouldn't eat other people's food. Come on. Fine, more for me then. Come in here. Yes? Hi, Mr. Smith. How are you? I'm good. How are you? Okay, take a seat, please. Thank you. What's up? Hi, Mr. Harrington. How are you? Tough day at work. I've been doing a lot. All right, take a seat, please. All right. Your workplace behavior has been awful, and I've been getting a lot of complaints about you. You're fired. Are you kidding me? You know what? I was going to quit anyways. I don't need this place. Mr. Smith, your workplace behavior has been excellent. You are getting promoted with a raise. Thank you. You're welcome. Hi, my name is Nathan, and I played the appropriate worker in our video. I was promoted because I was dressed appropriately for work. I showed up early and did things my boss asked me to. I was alert and didn't sleep on the job. I stayed off social networking sites and worked on the tasks at hand. I was respectful of my boss as well as other employees. And I ate my own food and not other people's. What's going on guys? My name is Dan. I play the inappropriate workplace worker. Um, the reason I got fired was because I showed up late, I was sleeping on the job, I was also playing on the computer and uh, answered my cell phone while on the job. I was extremely disrespectful to my boss. Who cares? She was mean anyways. And I also ate Renee's food. And did I mention that those oatmeal raisins Chewy bars were delicious.